And on to a story you'll see on the one and only about an order on a food delivery service that was anything but satisfactory for one customer. Oh, he ordered food from Uber Eats, but what he got, definitely not what he expected. Our Ian Margle is live, the exclusive on this. Ian. Lori Calvin, he ordered dumplings and a few other things from a Japanese restaurant, and that's what he expected to get when he opened his bag from Uber Eats. The problem is what came with it was pretty disgusting. Who thinks that you're going to get delivered somebody's dirty underwear? The answer to that question, of course, is no one. But unfortunately for Leo, that's exactly what happened on Sunday night when he opened up his Uber Eats delivery order. Disgusting, unhealthful, it's potentially deadly. Leo, who asked us not to use his last name, is in town for Art Basel. Just before 10 p.m., he decided to order some dinner from a nearby Japanese restaurant. And when it arrived a little while later, he walked outside of his hotel to pick it up from the Uber Eats driver. I grabbed the food, and right when I got the food, she struck off running. And I was like, that was kind of odd. Back up in his hotel room, he opened the plastic bag. His food was there, but sitting right there next to it was a pair of thigh-length underwear, clearly stained with what looks like feces. Disgusted, he called Uber, the restaurant, and the police department. Uber sent us this statement that says, quote, what's been reported is very concerning. We are reviewing this order and reaching out to all parties involved to help understand what may have occurred. The courier has been removed from the app pending investigation. And I did reach out to Bell Harbor Police as well because they did give Leo a case number when he went to them. They have not returned our calls on this. Uber said, of course, they are looking into it. As soon as we get any new information, we'll pass it along to you. Live in Bell Harbor tonight, Ian Margle, Local 10 News. Oh, a rough story at dinner time. Ian, thank you.